Hello everybody, my name is Steve Splat, and welcome to Burly Men at Sea. This is the second installment in my Games at Random series, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Aha! Uh -huh. A ship in a bottle. Oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen some kind of rubbish in the nets. That's not a question, that's a statement. Some kind of rubbish in the nets? That should be a question. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. Useless sea chart, grumbles a hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A map cast to sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery! Aye! Eh? Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Kind of looks like a flash game, to be perfectly honest. This sounds like a perfect sitcom for Burly Men at Sea. I love how it's called A Quiet Adventure, but I'm the one talking for them. Alright, I guess we're not going that way. I talk to this gentleman? No, wait! I have no clue. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about him with these landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Is this the coffee shop he was referencing? I would guess so. Mm-hmm. You'll be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. The man casts a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. The old man soon approaches with a steaming tray, or single origin espresso. Roast it myself. Roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly. He sighs. Coffee. Relaxing, the men sip cautiously, eyes widen. Now, what have you found? He chuckles at the, their stunned faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions, and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steady beard grins. Aye, then you are... You are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm. Seems what ye have here is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. Aye... Brave Beer leaves from his seat to pound Steady Beer on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at a skeptical, skeptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. He turns to walk away. Ho oh, there, what sort of tales calls Brave Beard? That depends, replies the old man. On what sort on what sort ye choose? He cho crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. <laughs> it's 
Steady Beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going. Then, er, thanks for the espresso? He tries. There, no an there is no answer. I apologize if I get their voices all mixed up or interchange them. <laughs> um, okay, oh. Can I go this way? I doubt it. Can I talk to him again? No, wait, go back over here. Wow, this is, uh, very different. The musician nods, but continues playing, happily shrieking, shirking the morning's chores. Nope, okay. I can't talk to him anymore. Um, let's go in this building. Check-ins in a bowl? Gravebeard slides... Oh my god, I can't read. Gravebeard sidles over the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about adventure, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. Can I talk to the chickens? Nope. Well, this is um, a very different game, I will say. Definitely than... Uh, Abzu. Now we're in a bakery. It looks like the little old woman. Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? Study Beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about adventurous deeds, heroic feats? Maps, adds Brave Beard. Mystery. A loaf shaped woman continues working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? I'm afraid I'm not the imaginative type, boys. We're old friends, the ordinary and I, she concludes, returning to her work. Well, not to say you weren't of any help, I provided an extra voice, so you were some help to me. <laughs> I guess we'll try every single house in this dock. Now it looks like we're at a blacksmith. <laughs> Just listening to the noise. Of his mallet hitting hot iron. Ching. Ching. That'd be the last thing I would hear it sounds like. The man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt you? Off. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shout Steady Beard. I'm not shouting. See, we found this map in our nets this morning, and. And do you happen to know anything about the unknown? Or heroic feats and tales and such, as Brave Beard, hopefully. There's a brief pause as the moment stops as the man stops hammering. He grunts, they wait. It appears he has nothing further to add. Okay, good talk. Thanks for helping. Is there any more? No. Then, do the burly men return to sea? Maybe? I guess so. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. 
What do you reckon they're after? Sooty Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has a feeling of mischief about it. Mischief? Wah! Grins Brave Beard, losing, loosing the sails. Um, this is not Pinocchio. Well, apparently we're now in Pinocchio. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. They look like they've been here a while. Um, are they ghosts? Ah, here's the beard boys, or beard brothers. Join us, friends. From whence do you come? asks one of the nymphs. We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explains Steady Beard. It's v really very discouraging. A man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors. Oops, I read that completely wrong. A man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors, as Brave Beard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises a second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. I cannot read Quotesworth. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if I'll, if you'll advise us how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one, the great barnacled one, brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithless, as the nymph gesturally, gesturing sadly toward what happens to be a hatch. And our ship, she can't fit through that. Fear not, once the great barnacle one reaches the place of promise, he will open the gate, he will open wide the gate that may, that all may go out as they came in. So either we escape with no ship or wait for the creature to open his maw? The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the great one's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcomed here by the fire. Brave Beard's face shows alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway. But all is darkness, beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek the enlightenment of... Found it! Interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire before him. Um... Yeah? Okay. Uh, there's some barrels here. A few barrels left empty, left empty by the morning's interrupted work now float free beside the boat. The men consider them in, consider them in the torchlight. Consider, I don't know what I'm saying. If I were the puzzle-solving sort, observed Hasty Beard, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll float, nods Steady Beard, but not so well as our ship. Brave Beard scoffs. What are we, landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. Okay. Then can we interact with the ship or this hatch? Okay, where in the whale does this go? I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Where in the whale does this go? Oh, the mouth. We're going to make him sneeze. That'll be our exit. Observes Hasty Beard eagerly. Give her a tug. Um... No, I, I would not advise that. 
But we aren't properly floated, contends a nervous steady beard. We can't go about tossing ourselves overboard without certain assurances. Rubbish, grunts brave beard. Give me water and I'll teach it to carry me. Well. Alright. We're just gonna make him gag. Or do that. That's fine. Give me water, he says, growls Hasty Beard. Well, we've water, all right. And to spare any other requests, Brave Beard aims a fish at his head. Shaking his head, Steady Beard begins resolute, begins resolutely to swim. I'm sorry if I'm butchering all these words. Okay, well, I don't want to leave them treading water for very long, but I am liking this game. It does take some getting used to. It is a very narrative heavy game. Um, but sometimes you need that in life. Um, controls are rather simple. You move left to right on the right thumbstick. Um, X to interact. I don't know. I like this game. Uh, I might consider it for a let's play. I don't know. Well, again, this is just my first 15 minute impressions. Uh, it gives me to uh, expand my wings on a little voice acting here and there, but uh, yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this game. I might uh, stick with it. I don't know. I might. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, make sure to drop a like on it and to stay in tune with the rest of this series. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Take care, everybody, so much for watching. And I'll get you guys next time.